back again with more World Cup action. We have Starmaster vs. Wellu. And we will rewatch the first few turns. And Starmaster brought Stall. And Wellu brought some Zard White Duck Trio, like balance ish stuff or bulky ones. More balance because he had like two fat mons. So he did. I assume this might be. Is he gonna U turn out here? Yeah, nice play. So he gets the Zard in. So everyone thinks this is probably Zard Y and it is Zard Y. Why did he stay in? Oh, he's probably gonna protect? Yeah, he's gonna protect. I assume there's like protect lead seeds. That is the stall thing that Andy used. He doubles out into Dougie on the chance the expert plays. So this is why Zard Y plus Chansey is like deadly as fuck. Zard Y plus Duck Trio is what I meant to say. Cause you get rid of the Chansey with Screech into Z move and then it's just... Oh he's... Oh it's Grassy Terrain I was about to say. Does he have leftovers on his duck? I was about to say for a second. That was just the Grassy Terrain. I think the Grassy, the grassy Terrain might have... Actually it didn't matter. The Chansey would have lifted anyway. But he got up the, he got up the rocks with his Chansey. But Chansey being gone means Zadwai goes completely in on Starmaster's team, like Zadwai destroys him now. So this is not gonna take that long. Uh, well, you is playing for Team France. Starmaster will use Metro, I recorded this game earlier with iPro. I think if you use Metro, like I'm not 100% sure. So what is Wellio's defog? It's on Lari, so he's just gonna go Lari, and if he doesn't double or anything, this is just gonna get a defog off. He gets the parallel. Like, come on, dude. Okay, we are live now. We were rewatching earlier, now we are live again. That sucks so much, dude. He gets a crit into para, and now this might die to Z to Z Thunder. I know there's a Z Thunder to Oko Mega Mawa, I think, or Mega Heracross to help out the stall team with that. Yeah, I think it's for Mega Heracross specific. Yeah, maybe you should have sacked the Duck Trio first. He risked the Para. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he goes into Ferrozone on the Z Gigavolt Havoc, Z Thunder. That's a good chunk. I think. Does this run HP Ice? Like, it's gonna have Roost, Thunder, Defog, and then it's either HP Ice or Heat Wave. Not sure about the last slot yet. Did you just guys just see this? <laughs> what Finch said. Wait, Star went 1 2? I think he's 1 1 at the moment, right? He won versus iPro. I think he lost versus. Lord Outrage, I did record that too. Yeah, I record all his games. Oh, well, his game. I don't remember if I recorded it. It might have been last week where I recorded so many games that I can't remember. He's HPIs. So he doesn't have Heatwave. Which means this Ferrozone is getting health back. He's eventually gonna go Sableye predicting the Leech Seed. Um, nice play by Star. Staying in first, predicting him to Power Whip and then going Sab on the Leech Seed. This also prevents the Ladi from defogging as long as the Sab is in. Like, Ladi can switch hard into that. Dude, if well he loses because the Ladi gets parried, I'm gonna be so pissed. But he probably could have played different and not risk that. Yeah, well, you should have won for certain, but then he risked his lot, is what they're saying. You see, just sex is Dougie. Wow, that lives expertly culped. Just gonna get some EQ chip damage off. If he does predict the recover here, he can go for Screech, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. I also don't know if Screech works versus this Mega Sable because like, of Magic Bounce. Not sure how that would work. Ladi should still outspeed Sableye because of the T wave being nerfed. Like, Ladi could probably defog on this after the Dougie dies, but the thing is, what if he gets Parrot? That's gonna be so bad. Why did he pursue it? Wait, what? Oh, it's a ghost type, it can switch out, it's not trapped. Maybe he predicted him to go Zapdos on an earthquake?
Man, I don't know why he didn't go for Earthquake. He really played it on the switch again. To zap us. He's either gonna go Tapu Koko. Like, he has three options here, right? He can go Tapu Koko, he can go Pex and try to burn something. Or he can go Ladi and try to defog. And he decides to go Ladi and try to defog. So if he gets paralyzed here, this is gonna be so painful. Because he needs the rocks off for his Zard. And he does get a defog off, so he should win the game now. Nice. Was choice Scarf Ladi. So Zardwai comes in here and destroys everything, basically, as long as it hits. Does it have Fire Blast or Flamethrower? Do we know that yet? Yeah, it should flame through. Okay, so he's gonna protect here, wasting a turn of sun. And yeah, I don't know what he's gonna sack now. He has to sack something because his Zapdos is, I think, offensive, so it would die, and he gets a crit. That might have mattered, but I think it just sped up the game. I don't think it mattered for the outcome of the game. Like it mattered in the sense that it might have lifted in like five or ten percent. So, but in the sense. That it doesn't change the outcome of the game is what I meant to say, yeah, exactly. In that sense it didn't matter, and this might have Stone Edge. Well, you definitely has to fear that and switch out here. It's probably... But the thing is, he doesn't have good switch-ins. Like Ferrothorn, I guess. Oh my lord, he pursues him. I was thinking about that he might do that. But now Ferrothorn gets free left ease and... You can click Leech Seed freely. The only, the only world where Leech Seed is a bad play is if he stays in with a Dahi and goes for Screech. Because then plus two Earthquake would hurt you. Then Power Up would be the better play in that scenario, but he just gets up the rocks. Wasn't even thinking about that option. So Star's just gonna have to defog here. I don't think he goes into Zarty because the sun is gonna end. But really nice play going into Pex because like Star he expected Welly to stay in, expecting Star to defog, so that's why he Wisp first. But now he just resets the sun and with that Y he clicks Flamethrower and Pokemon just die left and right. He clicks Root first, wow. And he keeps pursuing the Zard for some chip damage. Important chip. I mean yeah, he can rocks again, but like I think Leech Seed is a fine play too. I'm gonna assume there's a Sash Duggy because the Zapdos already had a Z move. Yeah, he just rocks again. I guess that's fine. Because Earthquake from Duggy won't do much. I, like, I was kind of fearing that the Duggy would go for Screech and then Earthquake would do a lot. But I think it would still be fine. Yeah, it would still be fine for Wolio. Because if he loses his Ferrothorn and Duggy goes down to the Sash. And rocks her up and Zadwai comes in, Zadwai just murks. Even though the sun is about to run out, he, this time he gets him. This time Star doesn't go for Wisp when he stays in. Pharaoh gets rid of the left. He's on the Mew. And he's just gonna go back into Zard here, so I assume. Um, Star might. Like, well, you might stay in here predicting. Star to go back into Dai, predicting the Zard. That gets so risky for Star to Willow Wisp here. Like, if you Willow Wisp here and. He just goes into Zard, like Zard gets the kill, right? Like, or at least the Dagi that comes in would get brought under the Sash if it comes in on the Zard. Yeah, he just makes the Zard play. I don't think he had a reason not to make the Zard play. He goes for Ice Beam, so... I don't think Ice Beam can freeze in the sun. But I don't remember 100%. Because I remember Zard by getting frozen, just roosts. I remember Zard by getting frozen and... In one game, but I don't remember if the sun was up that turn. Okay, so he's gonna get the rocks back up. It seems that's just how, he's, how he wants to play. It makes a lot of sense. Does he have defog on Zapdos too? I think it has, right? Like, I was going off that the entire time. But maybe he doesn't have defog on Zapdos because he has Mega Sable A plus Mew. To keep hazards off, but Sable is already dead and Mew has like less Tifog PP than Ferrison has rock PP. 
So he's gonna Godfish for a burn here or Toxic. He has Toxic, that's pretty nice. Wow. I mean, he already revealed it earlier. I don't know, remember which money he used it versus. And while well, you disconnect, so there's the win condition. <laughs> of course, they said that. To. I'm gonna pause it till he comes back. So he came back and he just switched his Ferrothorn in uh, Thunder. Obviously, not risking anything. He gets Parrot, which could be nice because the Mew now can't burn this. I was eating a banana. I hope you guys didn't hear that when the recording was paused. Because <clears throat> he came like bad. He came back faster than I thought he would. But yeah, flamethrower either brings the Dougie down to the Sash or kills something. And let's see if he gets burn here. Does not get a burn. Star has been clicking pursuit every single time. I assume this is pursuit of Craig. Screech reversal, but the value doesn't know 100% if it doesn't if it has edge. So I understand why you always switch this out out so far, because it's too risky if this has edge. If this has edge, man, why can I not talk clear? Back into Feral, rocks go back up. If, I mean, yeah, if the dagger went for reversal, it would have died to. To iron barbs and if Dougie dies to iron barbs that would mean that that's like the only one that he has to outspeed the, the Zard other than the Zapdos that might speed tie if they're both max speed. So the Mew's gonna defog here. The seats are pretty nice to have. Yeah I don't think he would go hard into Zard. Ice Beam did how much last time? Okay, now I just fucked up the dimension and it's probably recording my entire screen now. Man, when I try to calc sometimes my dimensions just get messed up. I don't know why it why it does that. It just goes on the T-bolt on the goes on the bull on the T-bolt, Coco U turns out. I assume this is gonna go for either leech separating the packs. Oh I don't know if this has a I don't know if this has a move to touch the Feral Thorn. So I can see while you're just going Feral Thorn. Like protect leech seed. One leech, what else? Toxic. So he's basically walled by Ferrothorn. <laughs> he's gonna leech. Oh, he gets Parrot. I guess he could have gone for Gyro. No, he knows his entire moveset. It's power with a knockoff. So he probably would have knocked off trying to get rid of the lefties on a Bulu. As there is the. There's the full para. Uh, the leech miss is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, full para until leech seat miss. And full para again. So this Mew is getting back the grassy terrain recovery. Oh yeah, power and grassy terrain would have done good damage to the Mew. I don't know if it would have killed, but it would have done a good amount. Like this guy just said. Shout out to the smog to shit. And he was warned by tricking for saying that. <laughs> Man, I love when the smoke to shit always like, was like ghosting, and you didn't get you didn't get warned for ghosting. That was fun back in the days, because sometimes when I was super tired, I could just read off the smoke to shit the entire game plan. Like maybe I was just ghosting there in the smoke to shit sometimes. Not like, not the entire entire match, but he was like, like he was not ghosting the comp entire match, but he was like suggesting some plays every here every now and then, if I recall correctly. I don't want to say anything wrong, so I had to change it a little bit. How I said that. <laughs> but yeah, Mew is basically dead now, so it's looking like well, you just it still wins this. It just took a bit longer than it needed to. Yeah, like Pharaoh Waltz is completely and Starmaster obviously can't double because Coco has U turn. Rock's gonna go back up now if he doesn't have Defog on Zapdos. Rock's are gonna stay up. He goes on the Zard, which is a bit weird. Oh, he has taunt. I did not think about it. Well, wow. toxic protect on leech taunt, so no leech seed then. I mean, Zard can roost here, but Flamestorm is just a safe play in case he breaks the roost and goes for toxic. So I can understand that. Yeah, Flamestorm gets a kill here. Zapdos is gonna die. Oh, Zapdos was poisoned too. I forgot about that. Yeah, this game is over. It has been fun. So he's gonna go Duck Trio, and I think he just stay and predict the pursuit because I don't think he has edge I think he was bluffing it the entire time 
And at this point, Ferrothorn plus Pex. Oh my god, never mind, reversal kills. Expert plays there. Man, I got that wrong. <laughs> I didn't think the reversal would kill, but it's obviously 250 base power. I did not consider that it, that would kill. That was my bad. He's gonna U turn out. HPI is okay. That does nothing. That does some chip damage. Is this Spadef Blue? Yeah, Star has a slight chance of winning after the Zard went down. He actually played expertly around that Zard way. And I like thought he lost like long ago. Yeah, well you should still win this, but like... Star actually made it close. Like he always has a free Feral Thorn on this, right? Yeah, yeah well you're still in a better position. Especially if he gets up the rocks. The Doggy will die to the... Actually, no, Dougie might live at 1% because that's 7 and rocks to 6, right? Yeah, if he roosted on the Dougie. Hmm. Never mind, he died to reverse, what am I saying? If he roosted on the Bulu, is what I meant to say. Zad would have just won the game. But it was too risky because the Bulu showed toxic. So there would have been a potential choke. Man, I don't want to see stall winning. People gotta learn that you don't bring stall every game. Like, <laughs> at least there were like a few games today that, are, like, I think I only recorded two games so far today that were not with stall. And there was also another one which was Alex versus Anti, which was like Rain versus Balance or Bulky Ovens, which was also a cool game. But I missed it on Fort. Like, you guys know I try to catch so many games, but I'm obviously not gonna be able to catch every single game. Like, I'm a freak, but even I am not 24-7 on smoke tours, like... <laughs> I got some other things to do, too, every now and then. If he gets a para here... Nice, he doesn't get the para, so the doggy's gone. And yeah, I don't think the last month type of Bulu can win at all. Yeah, you had to go for it. I get that. Like, last month type of Bulu can't win. Because um, the leftovers get knocked off by the Ferrothorn. And he can't, if Grass is and he doesn't get any health back. He also gets completely walled by the packs. So yeah, well, he does pick up the win. Thank you guys for watching. And we will see you at my World Cup later. And <laughs> stop stalling me, boys. Did I try to stall him the first time too? <laughs> yeah, that was a fun one. Like it didn't took to take too long. I mean, it wasn't fun in the sense there was stall and wolf. But yeah, I'll see you later with more World Cup coverage. And goodbye.